Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome to an Indie Quick. Now we're covering Virtual Rogue. Developed by Snowy Productions and published by Blackshell Media on April 8th, 2016, it is available on Steam. I was sent a, uh, a review copy. It is supposedly an action roguelike involving basically being a... Uh, a deleted file which looks interesting so let's begin shall we um, mouse is not yeah mouse is not working uh, controllers working though there we go so I've got controller support yay uh, I'm gonna assume normal mode angling I don't know what angling does very low whatever note the text document Note was unintentionally created by the user and thrown into the recycle bin. Ever since his creation, he has vowed to take his revenge and defeat the user. And then you got locked characters. Okay. Let's start with Note then, shall we? And this is $4.99 at, uh, right now, so it's not really pricey. Alright, it's giving me the WASD or left stick up and left stick left, etc. Okay, so I've got the eight cardinal directions. Um, Alright, so... It's got... Uh, it's got the twin stick shooting going on. And you can go ahead and alter the speed of your projections by moving with them. Okay, that's neat. That's actually really neat. You can use the E or right shoulder button control to pick up files. Boom. Use the F or left shoulder button control to activate a file's effect. Use the Z or left shoulder trigger to drop a file. And I dropped it. Okay. Um, pick up the item. Floppy disk. Maximum RAM. I have no idea what RAM is. I think RAM's for health. And hoverboard, what does that do? Use hoverboard active item. Alright, neat. Ah, there's too many controls for a twin stick shooter. Okay. To buy items and drops in the shop. So the CD. Alright. Use the your right shoulder button to control to open chests. Which was, which I was able to get, and to use machines. So I guess, uh... Alright. So yeah, it's a twin stick shooter. Maybe with some awkward controls, but... I hate how you can only shoot in the four directions, although I guess Binding of Isaac was a similar manner. Uh, let's go ahead and collect all these bites. And it opens the exit. And E to finish the tutorial. Okay, that was a tutorial. That was not bad. It could have been a lot more pretentious than that. So let's see what this game actually has to offer. Oh, there's a store there. That's, that's what that is. It's not its own room. It's just a, uh, a couple items in a corner. What are those? Carrots? What? Like, is that supposed to be, like, the carrot symbol, except, like, as an actual carrot? Ow, stop it. Let's see if we can't get some, uh, some stuff going on here. It, it's not that bad. It controls real well. I really like the controls right now. There have been worse twin stick shooters out there. I like how when you move, it modifies your uh, your shot speed and shit like that. Let's see if we can't get some sort of... Like, you can get them going in a, in a diagonal by moving in a diagonal, but not, not really well. That's your basic twin-stick shooter. It's not bad. There's a lot of these out now, isn't there? And I think that's my main complaint with these things, is that 
There's so many of them out there now that they really require an, uh, a new and unusual premise or a new and unusual... Um, a new and unusual mechanic to really stand out. Now, I will say this. It's all on one screen. It's not divided up into subrooms. Die. Holy crap, that one had, had it in for me. You got a portal there. I'm going to continue fighting for a bit, see if that portal stays open. Let's see, I've got half the enemies down. You know what? Let's enter that portal. It's a mini boss. Desktop mini boss. Yeah, his shots go a lot faster than mine do. No. I get I'm still kind of winning, I guess. I'm at half health. But most of that was from the floor below. Ah, uh, it's not bad. And you can tell by the fact that I haven't died yet that the controls are actually really responsive. Do I have anything in my inventory that I can use? Nope. It's like I don't have enough time to actually look at the indicators. Safe mode unlocked. Ah! Yeah, that's part of the game. Alright, that is funny. Well, I'll tell you what, that was actually kind of fun. I'm going to play it again. That was uh, disturbingly fun. <sighs> Let's see what it is. see if I can unlock anything different this time. Let's see if I can... I wonder if there's any... Di I, I'm, there's got to be different weapons, right? It's like a calculator. So these are like various applications. Yeah, what's this? I can't lift it. So I have no idea what that is. Okay, I got a turret. Come on, half the fun of these things is finding neat uh, little uh, weapons and shit. Okay, there's a file. Timehack.exe. We're going to hack time. Ah, stop it. Just trying to get by. Okay. What did that do? Did that speed me up? Did that speed everything up? It's not really clear what half of this shit does. But that's a common theme with these with these kinds of games. It's like you don't really know what a bunch of stuff does until you get a chance to really look at it. And what's this? Range hack. Oh, I see. These are basically uh, uh, power-ups, kind of. Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay, I killed that one. God damn. Ow. Yeah, I need a lot more... Uh, a lot more skill at these games than I'm displaying right now. Come on, let's kill one of these things. Boom. I'm gonna just one shot at a time because I am shit at aiming. Oh, God. Check to make sure you are not wrecked. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it here. There's probably a lot more to this game. i got to say, I am actually suitably impressed with this as a twin-six shooter. It's not the greatest twin-six shooter. Admittedly, there's a lot more out there. But it's got a cute little, uh, a cute little premise, and it's got responsive controls. And really, what more can you ask for in a twin-six shooter besides, you know, loads of different weapons? I'm sure there's different weapons in there. Um, I'm not sure... It looks like there's already a bunch of different power-ups. It says on the on the actual Steam page that there are 121 different items, 36 different pickups, 6 different characters, 32 different enemies, full controller support. And I gotta admit that that was full controller support. 
So, for now, this has been the RPG Crawler. I will put a link in the description below for those who wish to uh, buy a virtual rogue. And uh, for now, take care and goodbye.